Well guys, I'm extremely excited to get back on the lawn. I haven't done a thing. Now a lot of you guys are probably out there wondering, hey, what do I do first when I haven't touched my lawn? And today we're gonna go over just that. Now it's April 10th here in Utah and normally my lawn is looking lush and green by now, but this year, the ground temperature has been going from 38 degrees up to 50, then back to 42, then back to 36. We've been all over the place. And the number one issue is ground temperatures will dictate how much growth that you're actually going to get. Now, the number one thing I want you guys to focus on is the ground temperatures if your lawn is actually ready to come out of dormancy. Otherwise, a lot of you guys are gonna to go to Home Depot and Lowe's, you're gonna waste a lot of product and that's not what we wanna do because eventually it ends up in our waterways. So we wanna be very careful with that. Now, for you cool season grass types like myself, I have Kentucky bluegrass, we need the soil temps to be above 40 degrees to really get the response that we want. Now, with you warm season grass types, you're gonna to wanna to be above 65 degrees on average. Now, there's a few species of Bermuda that can get into the you know lower 60s, but on an average, we're looking at about 65 degrees before we're really gonna see a push. Next on the list is we wanna focus on getting rid of the topical debris on the lawn. Now, a lot of you guys made the mistake last season of leaving your lawn too long before the winter hit. You're gonna start seeing matted grass. You're gonna see a lot of dead on top. And this time of the year when the grass starts to grow, it's gonna push through a lot of that dead matted debris and push that matted debris to the bottom. So if you don't remove that now, you're gonna end up having to remove that later. Now we can talk about that in a little bit, but the other issue is, is take my lawn for instance. We have a ton of seed matter that has fallen off of trees just from local passing winds, some of my neighbor's trees, some of my trees, I have a ton of maple seeds on the lawn. Now I'm not really concerned that the seeds are gonna germinate and I'm gonna have a bunch of suckers coming up in my lawn. What I am worried about is this getting stuck on the surface and not allowing for new improved growth. So whether it be seeds on the lawn, you've got rocks, twigs, sticks, you really should be removing that. Now there's a couple of ways that you can do this. You can use a backpack blower, which is super, super simple, and just blow the debris off. Or you can use a dethatcher, which I highly recommend, probably my all-time favorite tool for any homeowner to own, like the Sun Joe dethatcher. Now the dethatchers, what they do is they have tines and they're going to scuff the ground, but they're not going to be super invasive to your grass and it's going to remove all that junk off of the top now at the same time it's going to remove a lot of these seeds it's also going to be removing dead debris and that's step number three that i highly recommend is getting a thatch rake or a dethatcher to remove that excess debris now we talked about this a little bit earlier a lot of times this debris comes from leaving your lawn too long. Over the winter, it goes dormant and kind of folds over and mats. Now that can actually be early onset uh, or causation for snow mold, which is also a big deal. We wanna make sure that we get the grass sitting upward so we get that evaporation that's occurring properly. Now, one of our final steps, steps number four, is I'm gonna recommend that you mow shorter than you commonly would. Now, you can afford to do this in the springtime because the temperatures are colder, the grass isn't growing as fast. Now, some of you warm season guys, it's best that you scalp the lawn because you get extremely spongy, especially with the Bermuda grass, and you wanna entice new stalliniferous growth, which is just the vine that everything grows off of. So a good spring scalping for you warm season grasses types is going to be the best thing you can do for the lawn to get it nice, healthy, and green. And now for you cool season grass types, like your perennial rye, your turf type tall fescue, and your Kentucky bluegrass, my recommendation is to get it down to about two inches or at least half of what you normally have it at. So if you normally have it about three inches, scalp down to about an inch and a half. Uh, I really wouldn't go below that if your grass isn't used to being that low. But the point is, is we wanna get rid of the debris that went dormant or the grass that is dead on top that I would call dead head. And we wanna promote new healthy growth. So part of this, make sure that your lawnmower has brand new blades or brand new sharpened 
blades. That is going to help get a nice clean cut off the top. Now in the springtime, we can afford to go slightly normal than usual because the temperatures outside are lower and the grass isn't growing as vigorous. So this is a great opportunity to chop the top of the head off to get rid of that debris and instantly the lawn is going to look greener, but it's also going to promote new healthy growth out of your grass and you're gonna be glad that you did. Well guys, that about wraps it up with my four easy tips on where to start before you mow. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, hit me up in the comments below. You know I'd love to help you guys out. Till next time guys, this is the Pest and Lawn, Jija. We're slaying lawns.